When setting up your junk removal website, make sure you don't set it up in the way that you think looks cool and you think looks awesome. Built it in a way where Google thinks it looks good and Google thinks it looks awesome, which is kind of what your customers are looking for anyways. Isn't that interesting? What's up there guys, Izzy here again with do-it-yourself junk removal SEO. And today what I wanna discuss is how to design, how to lay out your junk removal business website. Now, a lot of this has to do with the area that you're living in, the services you're providing. And if you're doing junk removal service in a town with 30,000 people, well, let's be honest, you don't really need that elaborate of a website. You get probably don't, you probably go online, check out Google and see your competition, how many businesses are out there. There isn't very many, you really don't have not much to worry about. So even just building a simple one page, I call it one page, but it's basically a three page website. You got your home page, and you connect an about page and a contact page as well. And that's all you need to do to basically rank in a particular town. You just got to make sure your home page is fully optimized, properly titled, a lot of good content on that first page, a, a lot of information. Because at the end of the day, what Google is, is a search engine and search engines are information. Now, if you're living in a town with more population, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000 people, you're going to need a lot bigger of a website something more elaborate, a little bit better designed. So what Google is looking for, and it's basically what your human being is looking for, it's amazing how Google basically mimics human behavior. This is what it's come down to. And if you don't build a website designed for a good human experience, Google understands that and won't rank your website because of that. So your website should be built again with your homepage, then you got about page, a contact page, and then also you need to add some service pages. So if you do stuff like construction removal, uh, basically uh, construction cleanup, you need to add a page for that. If you do landscape cleanup, you need to add a page for that. Hot tub uh, removal, appliance removal, things of that nature. My rule of thumb is four or five service pages connected to your homepage and then interacting with one, with one another. And what's gonna happen is with Google, what Google sees is going to see a website with an authority in a particular area, especially if your business is, let's say, Reno, Reno, Nevada, junk removal, Reno. So when you build your website around those three words, Google's going to know anybody types in junk removal in Reno that this website's the authority for those specific words, which happens to be junk removal in Reno. So that's exactly how Google sees it. If you build it correctly, um, your customers are going to enjoy the website which in turn Google is what is basically mimicking human behavior is what's going to do and rank your website accordingly. So I'm going to show you guys one I've just built, just finished this up yesterday. Today's what, 18th or 19th, something like that. So we'll see how this ranks. It does take a while. It could take, especially in a bigger city with a lot more websites, it could take, you know, two, three, four months to get things going. But this is something a long term um, how do you, it's just like your business. It's going to take a while to get traction going. And when you start, you're not going to make any money. It's hard to get your name out there, but it's that tenacity and, and, and the resilience and the, and the just getting out there, making it happen. What's what makes your business go. And the same thing happens online. So here's the website. This is for junk removal or Fresno. Again, this is just a test website just to show you guys that what I show you will work to get you more business for your business. So the homepage, junk removal, Fresno. Right here, right away, there's the home page. It's a really well put, well built website, a lot of good content on it, all original content. There's another thing, don't copy anybody's content. Believe it or not, Google can sniff that stuff out. So don't ever do it. And then Google will just ignore your website. You don't want to do that. So there's the, the home page again. There's an about page. Of course, you got a contact page. And then you can see we have the service pages right here. So we go to the service page right here. So this is for furniture removal. Again, I follow the same recipe as the homepage. On the service pages, don't have to be as wordy, as inform informative. The homepage is the main one. But there's one of the service pages, and the service page clicks right back to the homepage. Then you got, let's say, yard cleanup. Yard cleanup in Fresno. And check that out. Little information on that. Email submission, all that stuff. And then towards the end here, clicks right back to the home page. Let's check one more hot tub removal. That's a staple in junk removal. I see it all the time. 
So you scroll down here, information on junk removal, hot tub removal, and then you click on here, boom, goes right back to the home page. So that's how your website should be designed and outlaid. So basically, you got a home page, about page contact, and then you got your five service pages all connect back to the home page. That's the way your website should be designed because that's what your customers are going to look for in, in, when they go online. And that's what Google is looking for when you build a website, no matter what business it is. So there you go, guys. So if you guys want to know more about this stuff, um, I'm looking to get this website design basically put on my site so you guys can download the template if you guys are using WordPress or anything like that. If you guys want to learn more about this SEO, search engine optimization, learn this stuff for your business, um, I'm going to have a link here in my, my, my video here. Go to my website, download my SEO crash course, and then uh, get your business going. And like I said, I always say, if a truck driver like me can figure out this SEO stuff, you guys are younger, savvier, smarter than I am. I'm sure you guys can pick this stuff up. You just guys need somebody to show you how to do it in a nice, simple way to make it happen. All right, guys, till next time.